Hello, how is it going? Welcome to my reaction video to Top Spin 2K25. We're going to be looking at the trailer, some of the first gameplay, uh, lots of the information ahead, and uh, really, really looking forward to it. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because we're going to be having daily Top Spin 2K25 content coming out on the channel from April 26th. Can you believe it? But it all started, of course, back on the original Xbox, uh, the original Top Spin here. Uh, I do have gameplay of all of these old Top Spin games, which I will uh, link at the end of this video. But of course, the original Top Spin on PS2, and then uh, we have Top Spin 3 on uh, ps3 and of course the goat of tennis games arguably the goat and of course we're going to have some videos on that in the run-up to 2k25 uh, the goat top spin for on the ps3 all of these videos some of the series i've done will be at the end of the video but uh, yeah it's been a, a crazy uh, day of announcements i'm really looking forward to Getting in, in, into it all, but uh, shall we start off with a little look at the trailer? Here we go. Let's get ourselves into it. So, of course, this was uh, released today as I'm recording this yesterday as you're seeing this. So it's the Top Spin 2K25 official announced trailer. It's about a minute and 10 uh, seconds. So here we go. Let's have a little gander. So, of course, Serena Williams in there. Roger Federer, my favourite player of all time. Really, really delighted. And this was really exciting to me, seeing that Wimbledon is going to be in it. Some of the animations look really, really clean. Very, very exciting. Now, I honestly cannot wait for this, and I could not believe that it's the 26th of April this year, 2024. So you can see there's three pre-order packages. You've got the Standard Edition with Federer and uh, Williams on the front there. You've then got the Deluxe Edition with uh, the current generation on the front and then you've got the sort of grand slam edition which has got the two goats of tennis in there um controversial opinion i know i know a lot of people will be telling me novak Djokovic is the goat but for me it'll always be good old roger and uh, we 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 can't shy away from that but some really really exciting things in there uh some of the things that you will unlock uh if you do pre-order it you've got the under the lights pack in there so you've got roger federer and uh serena williams alternate outfits and nighttime major venues including wimbledon um the Australian Open, of course, uh, US Open and uh, Roland Garros. I mean, that's the exciting news from this is that all four majors are going to be in there for the first time since Grand Slam Tennis 2 on the PS3. And it's very, very rare that we get games with Wimbledon fully licensed in there. Of course, Top Spin was a great one for licenses back in the day, uh, having all of the Masters 1000 events uh, back in 2011 and three of the four Grand Slams. But now... It's all going to be fully licensed and that is just really, really exciting that we're going to be able to go for the career Grand Slam. We're going to be able to try and, and pit, pit ourselves against Roger Federer, Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic in the GOAT race and I'm really, really excited to get into that. Uh, there is a little bit more information in here. Uh, you can obviously subscribe to the, the 2K channel um, and all of that good stuff but I, I'm, I'm just so excited honestly i've not been this excited for a, a game to come out since probably snooker 19 you know that was the last big one for me um obviously my passion is snooker and you know tennis is is right up there this is really getting my um blood going if you like so really really excited what i wanted to have a look at next is um the the, the sort of features that are in there there's not 
a definitive list of features yet, but this is on the game.co.uk website. So this is uh, where you might get the physical version in um, the UK. So you can see it's $79.99 for the deluxe edition. Bit pricey, I suppose, but that that's how much we um, pay for, for games these days, unfortunately. Uh, win the career Grand Slam, travel the world as an up-and-coming pro, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest names in tennis uh, and take on Centre Court Wimbledon, Roland Garros, the US Open and Australian Open as you strive to become a Grand Slam champion in my career. So, of course, it's made by 2K. They're, they're going to push that brand that they've had in their basketball games, in uh, their recent golf games, in, uh, of course, the... Uh, what else do they have? To, what, what else did 2K have? Wrestling, of course. Um, compete at iconic venues, so visit some of the most vibrant courts in the world for Grand Slam tournaments and uh, international arenas like Indian Wells. Um, like uh, I'm, I'm assuming that may be Madrid. La Caja Magica, no idea. Pala, Alpitor, Foro Italico and more. Uh, it's suggesting there's going to be some ATP events in there, but of course, tie-break tennis has a lot of the ATP uh, licensing, so... It's a shame we've got all this competition, but hopefully it'll improve the games going forward. Uh, tennis legends and rising stars. So players, tennis legends, Roger Federer, Serena Williams, or serve up smashing highlights as Carlo, Carlos Alcaraz, um, Iga Sviatek, uh, Francis Tiafo, Andre Agassi, and others choose from over 24 playable pros and unleash their explosive power and clever, clever finesse against other players locally or online. So we've got the online version uh, confirmed in there. It's also really interesting that there's 24 pros. That's about right for a tennis game, I think. Uh, obviously, it would be amazing if we could have hundreds upon hundreds of pros in there, but because tennis players own their own licenses, you have to buy them all individually, and that's always been a problem. That's why Djokovic probably won't be in this game, because he doesn't want to do that anymore, as he did back in the day. Um, hopefully Nadal can be in there as well, so at least we can have uh, Federer versus Nadal in there. Train with John McEnroe, that seems to be the one constant with every single tennis game that comes out. John McEnroe seems to be involved somehow. From power serves to gorgeous drop shots, uh, learn how to play with John McEnroe at the Top Spin Academy Master. Advanced controls as you progress through a series of skill sharpening drills and challenges to give an edge on every surface. Uh, Personalise your my player, so create a my player tailored to your play style um, and define your look on the court with a wide range of customization options. You've got uh, lots of licensed gear in there from Head, Lacoste, uh, New Balance, Nike, Wilson and more, which is really good to see. Uh, new coaches and fittings in there as well. Uh, Deluxe Edition includes Under the Lights Pack uh, featuring Serena Williams and Roger Federer. Uh, new Wave Pack containing, containing Al Carlos, uh, Alcaraz, Sviatek and Tier 4 alternate out outfits. New Wave uh, Glasses, New Wave Top so on and so on. Rookie Rise Pack containing one My Player boost to level 10 and 1,700 VC, whatever that is. <laughs> uh, and we will receive a 2K25 tennis ball if we pre-order it at game. So there you go. There is the top spin tennis ball if you are interested. I'm going to be all about physical editions and everything for this game. I'm probably going to own everything. As you can see behind me, I am a bit of a physical nerd when it comes to all of that so yeah i'm really really excited for this it's going to be pretty awesome so without further ado i want to uh, give a shout out to gamerside official who uh, seems to be uh, a french content creator who has access the game early and a few youtubers were flown out to paris to to go and uh, experience this game which is pretty awesome to say the least um i wasn't asked how dare they? But uh, yes, let's have a little look at it and we'll we'll experience some of the gameplay. And this is sort of raw gameplay and we'll skip through it. But of course, I'll link this down in the description if you want to check out the full 30 minute experience. So it starts off with some Top Spin Academy. So let's have a little look. In this lesson, we're learning various different ways to improve your serve alongside how best to aim it. Coming up is a demo to explain normal and power serves and how to direct them. In this demo, you learn how to serve with precision and power and get the best out of the most crucial shot in tennis. There's multiple different ways to serve. 
Here we're going to cover normal and power serves, which are initiated by pressing or holding a serve input. Releasing the serve input early triggers a safe normal serve. Accurate, but not very powerful. Holding the serve input until the power indicator appears triggers a power serve. It's more powerful, but also harder to control. Next, let's look into how to aim and to pick the spot where you want the ball to land. If you don't push the... Okay, so first impressions of how everything looks serving-wise, it looks remarkably similar to Top Spin 4 in terms of, you know, the scoreboard up here in the top, almost identical, of course. Got its uh, little 2024 touch in there. Um, and certainly the, the sort of power where it goes red and comes up good or um, too hard, that sort of thing, those things are of course from Top Spin 4 and I really like how they've sort of bought into everybody has affection for that game it's widely considered as the GOAT so they don't seem to be changing too much now the gameplay looks very light um obviously I haven't played it but it looks like it would play very light and maybe not a lot of feel in it but of course with the haptics perhaps there could be something on PS5 but that's just first impressions from what I'm seeing there. Uh, so we'll skip forward a little bit. Oh, we've got ads in there. Charge Let's go and get in. Game aside, some uh, ad revenue, shall we? <laughs> skip that advert. Game Sorry about that, folks. Service, anyway. Um, good or perfect timing. Let's just move it forward. So we've got a match here. So this is obviously the Australian Open and the Rod Laver Arena. I don't know whether they'll have different courts. Um, and this was what was great in uh, the old Top Spin games. This sort of cinematic feel at the start of the match. And I'm, I'm glad to say it looks very, very similar, which is which is brilliant. you got Roger's uh, 2018 win there. got Naomi Osaka on there. So she must possibly be a, a player in the game. There you go, tier four coming out. Good to see. The crowd look exactly the same as 2011. That is hilarious. Now, let's have a good look at what's going on here. Now, yeah, licensed stuff in there. There's Rogers Wilson. Now, of course, this is a video through a video, so this is not going to be the best quality that you see. Um, please check out the proper video if you want to see what this looks like but I think it's something pretty good um, you've got this little stamina bar there Bon there you go but let's just have a look at a couple of rallies see how they play out yeah decent looks like you can request a replay using triangle it, it's feeling like 2011 all over again folks and I'm all for it It's just funny how similar it looks. Uh, that's not a problem for me. I'm sure a lot of people will kick off about that, but that's not a problem for me at all. This is on normal difficulty, I believe. Now, what we'd like to see is obviously the ball hitting the net, going out. I think that was something that didn't happen too often. In the old top spin games, you used to have to hit winners constantly. Mm. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, we've got Roland Garros there as well. Got some of the women players in there. Sphere versus Gauff. Go Goff. Not Gauff. Goff. Coco Goff. Let's uh, I see a, a rally here. On clay. Do this slide around. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, on first inspection, the ball seems to be bouncing higher, which is what you'd expect to happen on clay. But again, 
no one forced errors. Now, it could just be the, the difficulty level. Let's have a little look at Wimbledon. McEnroe versus Agassi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Centre Court for today's exhibition match. And there you can see the roof on there. I wonder if we'll ever get to play under the roof. <laughs> there he is, good old John McEnroe and uh, good old Baldy there. Agassi, we get to see also the old pitches there on the on the right hand side. Of course, the first time we've seen Wimbledon in a top spin game, which I think is just so cool, so cool. Ado, right here we go then. Let's see how it plays on grass. We should be seeing fast and furious action here. I, I just already know people are going to be kicking off about the graphics of this game. They've been crying out for top spin to come back and they're going to complain about the graphics. So I just I just know it. Here we go then. Let's see. McEnroe serving to Agassi. Yeah, definitely looks a, a bit quicker. Goodness me. This is on very hard difficulty as well. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Should have went to the right there for the pass. But uh, tried to cross, cross court. You're not going to beat McEnroe at the net like that. But good to see the different play style of coming to the net. And there you go. Serving volley. Yeah, nice pass that time. Let's uh, push it on a little bit. There's a reach shot, but again, not going out. That's my first impression here, is that they need to have a few more errors. But, of course, in the age of patching, um, and once people have fed back, you would imagine, that's the sort of thing they'll sort out. Okay. Oops. Another rad. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here we go, then. Oh, lovely, lovely pass. And there's the game set and match. Now, let's see if there's any statistics at the end of this. Because we do like looking at the stats at the end, unforced errors. And that'll give us a, a little indication, really, of whether it's all going to be winners in this. And I wonder, you know, whether there are some comments to this exact video with all of that in. Okay, so we're getting some highlights of the match. But I don't think there's going to be anything else there. No. That's the end of that then. And there you go, Joe Johnson, everlasting love for all of you... Uh... Snooker Loopy podcast fans out there. Right, no, we're not we're not having it, Joe. Joe, shush. <laughs> right. Anyway, top spin 2K25. Really, really exciting to see it out there. Of course, in stores on uh, the 26th of April 2024. I believe you can get it three days early if you do order the deluxe edition or the grand slam edition uh so you can get it on the 23rd of april but really really exciting just over a month to wait to get your hands on top spin 2k25 let's support this because hey we want this franchise back and we want it back as a yearly or bi-yearly um video game at the end of the day in the first one back it's probably not going to be perfect but it looks like they're trying to go back to those roots of top spin four i'm certainly uh, very very positive about it and you know me i'll give it a go and we'll be doing daily content on it and i really really can't wait it's going to be probably one of the longest series we ever do on the channel um it's going to be something that's around for many many years it's going to bring tennis back to the channel big time and hopefully you guys will join me along for the ride so if you have enjoyed this little uh, reaction video give it a big thumbs up down below of course subscribe for daily top spin videos and we will be covering top spin for there will be some videos coming out very very soon to celebrate the release of the new one and we'll say goodbye to top spin four and hopefully i'll never have to play it again because this game is going to be perfect fingers crossed Fingers crossed, eh? But yes, 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.